right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I hope that you have repented and that you're baptized. I pray that you have new beginnings. I pray that you are safe and protected. And I pray that your life turns in a better direction for the most high. Now, today's message I want to discuss about staying prepared for what God has for you. Always staying ready, being in alignment, and how God will keep you on your toes. On this journey, we go through many different situations and seasons throughout our lives. And, you know, we have to always walk by faith and walk in the spirit as well. But one thing about the faith part is that our situations and our environments and the way things be looking in front of us be so crazy and hectic. A lot of times people get very discouraged. A lot of people get rattled. A lot of people just really lose their composure when they're at rock bottom or they're in a dark, rough place or they're just like, you know, things are not making sense. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, through it all, you have to always stay ready for what God is about to do for you. You have to always stay ready for that miraculous thing he's going to do, that miracle, that breakthrough, that open door, that sudden change, that sudden event, that, that change of wind, the change of spirit. There's so much things working right now in your life that you may not see all right our faith and our perseverance those hard times those trials and tribulations that's for our better character and how we handle situations more but all in all you know you just have to really press on and stay ready stay in alignment you have to always prepare yourself for the blessing that god is going to give you you have to be prepared to receive it and also be prepared to give to others and be prepared to bless others with what god is about to bless you with okay it's bigger than you. It's not all about you, you know, and sometimes we tend to forget that because sometimes we be so self-absorbed and we become so just focused on ourselves that we f we forget how things are bigger than us. You know how much people are looking towards us, how much people need our help. You get what I'm saying? And when the most high gives you something, when he blesses you something, when he calls you to do something, it's more than just about you. You know, it's always going to be about the kingdom. It's always going to be about his glory, but it's also going to be about helping and benefiting others around you. When God used every person in the scriptures, he always used them to help and bless other people. When the Most High gave Abraham and blessed him with many things, Abraham was able to give and share to others. But Abraham was always ready for God. Abraham was always ready to obey God. Abraham was always ready to go where God told him to go. You know, you have to always stay ready, always stay on your toes, always stay in alignment, always stay in his presence. You have to always keep him first, you know, and you can't you can't get lazy. You can't get undisciplined. You can't get sloppy. You got to be firm, strong, uniform, consistent. You got to be upward. You know what I mean? And you have to just stay ready because you you don't know when. The Most High is going to do that thing for you. You don't know when the Most High is going to change an event for you. You just don't know. So you have to always stay strong and just stay ready and keep working on yourself, keep bettering yourself, you know, working through your situations, you know. You can't just wait till something good happens. You have to work towards it, all right? Waiting waiting on the Lord, waiting for God is not about being lazy and just sitting there with a silver platter with your hand out. It's not about that. Waiting on the Lord is working and proving yourself towards what he has for you the things that's been uh, promised to you and things that's going to be blessing your life you have to work towards that okay and you have to stay ready for it you know when god chose his people and blessed his certain individuals with certain things he always made them on their toes he always had them ready for anything moses was always ready to obey god go up the mountains get the commandments he was always ready to do what god called him to do Daniel was always ready to interpret a dream, all right? Christ and the disciples, they were always ready to heal somebody, to change someone's lives, to spread the gospel. They were always ready, all right? And that's how we have to be. We have to always stay ready, okay? So what I would like to do is read some scriptures that talks about preparation, you know, preparing for what God is about to do, preparing for action, you know, preparation for god's way you know because we have to always stay in alignment okay so here we go the book of ezekiel chapter 38 verse 7 be prepared and prepare yourself you and all your companies that are assembled about you and be a guard for them the book of john chapter 14 verse 3 
If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. We also have to prepare for Christ returning, and we do that by working, serving him, leading people to him, doing the will of the Most High. Of course, living our lives and enjoying our lives as well through everything and going through every season, but also you know, not getting caught lacking, not getting caught slipping, because Christ will come back as a thief in the night. All right. So we have to always just stay ready for Christ's return. Always stay ready for more prophetic events. Stay ready for any uh, powerful transition spiritually that the Most High is doing daily. OK, now let's see. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 31. The horse is prepared for the day of the battle, but victory belongs to the Lord. All right. The book of Ephesians, chapter two, verse 10, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. The book of Psalm 23, verse five, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. My cup runs over. All right. God will always prepare us for things that we have to also prepare ourselves for it as well. OK, when a boxer goes out and becomes a boxer he doesn't just walk in the ring he has to prepare to box somebody he has to always stay in shape he has to always practice and technique again better figuring out ways to win that's how we have to live our lives you have to always be training always be exercising always staying ready and not only just physically and carnally but spiritually mentally emotionally financially be ready for anything be ready to hear the most highest voice and obey it be ready to get up, pack your bags and move. The most high may call you to move somewhere, go somewhere. You got to stay ready for anything. All right. Take that big leap of faith, have that big faith. And, you know, there's so much things God is calling us to do. And there's we have to stay ready for it. OK, stay ready for anything. All right. The book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 20. Behold, I'm going to send an angel before you to guard you along the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. The book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse 15. And having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. The book of Job, chapter 11, verse 13. If you would direct your heart right and spread out your hand to him. The book of Mark, chapter 15, verse 42. When evening had already come, because it was the preparation day, that is the day before the Sabbath. The book of Second Timothy, chapter two, verse 21. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from these things, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified, useful to the master, prepared for every good work. The book of Amos, 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 chapter four, verse 12. Therefore, thus I will do to you, O Israel, because I will do this to you. Prepare to meet your God, O Israel. The book of Jonah, chapter one, verse 17. And the Lord appointed a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was in the stomach of the fish three days and three nights. Everybody knows the story of Jonah when, you know, God called him to do something, but he didn't do it. So he got caught slipping and Jonah wasn't ready for that. OK, <laughs> but let us be preparing for the most high in a good way. All right. Let's keep obeying him. Keep having our better relationship with the most high. And let's not disobey. OK, <laughs> because when you disobey and go against the most high, uh, the Most High will catch you slipping with his wrath or judgment or a punishment or chastening or what have you. And nobody's ever prepared for that. So let's always be smart in our relationship with the Most High. Let's always be obedient and steadfast and devout and firm. OK, <laughs> because uh, we, 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 you want to you want to always be on the Most High's good side. All right. Just saying, because, you know, <laughs> the Most High has many different sides to him. OK, so let's keep being obedient. The book of first Peter, chapter one, verse 13. Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Keep sober in spirit. Fix your hope completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. The book of Joel, chapter three, verse nine. Proclaim this among the nations. Prepare a war. Rouse the mighty men. Let all the soldiers draw near. Let them come up. The book of first Corinthians, chapter two, verse nine. But just as it is written. Things which eye has not seen and ear has not heard and which have not entered the heart of man. All that God has prepared for those who love him. You know, Christ has prepared many things for us. He prepared 
uh, many houses in heaven for us. Uh, he prepared the eternal life, the everlasting life, you know, foundation, all those things. The most high his son has prepared so much for us and we have to work towards it, go through a lot for it. We have to fulfill our purpose and our journey and walk by faith and keep being obedient all the way to the end and go through all these events. Okay. So the most high his son has many things prepared for us. Okay. We have to walk in it. All right. And trust the most high. Let's see. The book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 41. Then he will also say to those on his left, depart from me, the cursed ones, into the eternal fire, which has been prepared for the devil and his angels. All right. The book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 2. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, made ready as a bride adorned for her husband. The book of Psalm 5, verse 3. In the morning, O Lord, you will hear my voice. In the morning, I will order my prayer to you and eagerly watch. The book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 20. But God said to him, you fool this very night. Let me hold on. The book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 20. But God said to him, you fool this very night, your soul is required of you. And now who will own what you have prepared? The book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 1. The plans of the heart belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 12, verse 3. Therefore, son of man, prepare for yourself baggage for exile and go into exile by day in their sight. Even go into exile from your place to another place in their sight. Perhaps they will understand, though they are a rebellious house. The book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 7. By faith, Noah, being warned by God about things not yet seen, in reverence prepared an ark for the salvation of his household, by which he condemned the world and became an heir of the righteousness which is according to faith. The book of Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with great patience and instruction and instruction the book of isaiah chapter 40 verse 3 a voice is calling clear the way for the lord in the wilderness make smooth in a desert a highway for our god the book of malachi chapter 3 verse 1 behold i am going to send my messenger and he will clear the way before me and the lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple and the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight behold he is coming says the lord of hosts the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 8. For if the bulge produ- produces an indistinct sound, who will prepare himself for battle? The book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 5. Therefore, when he comes into the world, he says, Sacrifice and offering you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. The book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. By faith, we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible. All right. So preparation is a very important thing throughout the Old and New Testament. The Most High always prepares us to obey him and answer a call and to fulfill your calling and go about your journey with faith. You know, we have to always stay ready for what God is about to do in our lives. Some people have reached a rough, a rough patch, a dark place. Um, some people feel like they're dead end. Some people feel stuck. I'm telling you right now, the Lord will not only get you out of it, he will get you through it. The Lord is going to do something for you that's going to change your life forever. You're going to have a testimony when all those things are said and done, okay? Keep going through what you're going through and stay ready for that blessing. Stay ready for that breakthrough. Stay ready to obey the Most High. Stay ready for more blessings. Stay ready to go to a higher level, all right? The Most High may call you to travel to another place. Get ready. He may call you to do a different job or career. Get ready. He may call you to do a certain thing at a certain time period. Just stay ready all the time, all right? Moses, Elijah, Daniel, you know, Christ, the disciples, you know, Ezekiel, they were always ready for God. They were always ready for a word, always ready for a message, always ready for confirmation, assurance, a revelation. They always stayed ready. They always stayed on their toes for the Lord. And that's how we have to be. Okay. And 
That's that, people. Preparation is everything, okay? It's very important, you know? Just want to read a few more scriptures based on preparing for action, okay? Repeat some of them. The book of 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Keep sober in spirit. Fix your hope completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. The book of Exodus chapter 19, verse 11. And let them be ready for the third day. For on the third day, the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. The book of Exodus chapter 19, verse 15. He said to the people, be ready for the third day. Do not go near a woman. The book of Exodus chapter 34, verse 2. So be ready by morning and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai and present yourself there to me on the top of the mountain. The book of 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 46. Then the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he girded up his loins and outran Ahab, Ahab to Jezreel. The book of Job chapter 38, verse 3. Now gird up your loins like a man, and I will ask you, and you instruct me. The book of Second Kings chapter 4, verse 29. Then he said to Gehazi, gird up your loins and take my staff in your hand and go your way. If you meet any man, do not salute him. And if anyone salutes you, do not answer him and lay my staff on the lad's face. The book of Job chapter 40, verse 7. Now gird up your loins like a man. I will ask you and you will instruct me. The book of Second Kings chapter 9, verse 1. Now Elisha, the prophet, called one of the sons of the prophets and said to him, Gird up your loins and take the flask of oil in your hand and go to Ramoth Gilead. The book of Isaiah chapter 52, verse 10. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations that all the ends of the earth may see the salvation of our God. The book of John, chapter 21, verse 7. Therefore, that disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. So when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put his outer garment on, for he was stripped for a work and threw himself into the sea. Let's see. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 14. They have blown the trumpet and made everything ready, but no one is going to the battle, for my wrath is against all their multitude. The book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 27. Prepare your work outside and make it ready for yourself in the field. Afterwards, then build your house. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, verse 7. Be prepared and prepare yourself, you and all your companies that are assembled about you, and be a guard for them. The book of Nahum, Nahum, chapter 2, verse 1. The one who scatters has come up against you. Man the fortress, watch the road, strengthen your back, summon all your strength. The book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 4, but the prudent took oil and flask along with their lamps. The book of Mark chapter 14 verse 15, and he himself will show you a large upper room furnished and ready, prepare for us there. The book of Acts chapter 23 verse 15, now therefore you and the council notify the commander to bring him down to you as though you were going to determine his case by a more thorough investigation. And we, are, we, for our part, are ready to slay him before he comes near the place. The book of Titus, chapter 3, verse 1. Remind them to be subject to rulers, to authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good deed. The book of Leviticus, chapter 16, verse 22. The goat shall bear on itself all their iniquities to a solitary land, and he shall release the goat in the wilderness. The book of Acts, chapter 23, verse 21. So do not listen to them, for more than 40 of them are lying in wait for him who have bound themselves under a curse not to eat or drink until they slay him. And now they are ready and waiting for the promise from you. The book of Revelation, chapter 8, verse 6. And the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound them. The book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 15. And the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year were released so that they would kill a third of mankind. All right. So that scripture is based on preparing for action, because in the Old and New Testament, the Most High always called certain individuals to be prepared to do something the next day or the same night or what have you, because things were always so urgent and necessary and needed that 
God always wanted his people to stay on their toes and stay ready for anything, all right? So just want to read a few more scriptures about preparing God's way and just go from there, okay? The book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 1. Behold, I am going to send my messenger, and he will clear the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, and the message of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. The book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 10. This is the one about whom it is written. Behold, I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. The book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 2. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The book of Luke, chapter 7, verse 27. This is the one about whom it is written. Behold, I send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare you your way before you. So the prophets in the Old Testament were always... Um, getting people ready for Christ and Christ coming and fulfilling prophecy and doing the works that he had to do to help all of us. All right. So everything is always about preparation or everything's always about alignment and timing and things coming into place and due timing. And also you got to stay ready for whatever nowadays, you know, you got to stay ready for the good, bad, and ugly. You got to always be willing to adapt and adjust to anything because times are so unpredictable that we have to trust in the Lord and lean on him and obey him. And we have to, we have to always be ready for what God is calling us to do, um, whether short term or long term or just in the moment. If it's kind of impulsive and just right on the spot, then obey God's voice and be ready for anything. All right. So those are the scriptures when it comes to preparation. So what I would love to do as we close out is give all the glory to the most high of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. All right. So here we go. He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. Amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author and Perfecter of our faith, the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the Beloved Son, the Blessed and Only Potentate, the Blessed and Only Ruler, the Branch, the Bread of God, the Bread of Life, the Bridegroom, the Capstone, the Captain of Salvation, the Chief Cornerstone, the Chief Shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the Constellation of Israel, the Cornerstone, the Counselor, the Creator, the Dayspring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel, the Eternal Life, the Everlasting Father, the Faith and True Witness, Faithful and True, the Faithful Witness, the First and the Last, the First Begotten, the First Born from the Dead, Firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal, King of Israel, King of kings and Lord of lords, King of saints, King of the ages, King of the Jews, the King, the Lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh ben Yahweh, Ahai Yeshaya, Mahamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the Prince of Kings, the Prince of Life, the Prince of Peace, the Prophet, the Redeemer, the Resurrection and Life, the Revelation, the Righteous Branch, the Righteous One, the Rock, the Root of David, the Rose of Sharon, the Ruler of God's Creation, the Ruler of the Kings of the Earth, the Savior, the Seed of Woman, the Shepherd and Bishop of Souls, the Shiloh, the Son of David, the Son of God, the Son of Man, Son of the Blessed, Son of the Most High God, the Source of Eternal Salvation for all who obey Him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Amen. We touch and agree in Jesus' name. We serve an awesome creator, and his son is amazing for dying for our sins. Hallelujah. All glory and praise to them forever. So there you have it, people. Let's stay ready for whatever God calls us to do. Let's stay ready for any twist of events or turns or any ups and downs. Always stay on your toes. Always be ready to adjust. Always stay in alignment with the most high. And just always keep walking by faith and trusting him along the way, okay? So there you have it, people. Just stay ready, man. Stay ready, okay? Stay on, stay alert. Stay on point. Stay sharp. Stay firm. Stand firm. Be strong, all right? I pass that on to you and pass it on to others as well. So there you have it, people. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I pray that you know, you, you you start your life over, you repent, and you just have new beginnings, and you stay ready for whatever the Most High is going to call you to do. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.